Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at a Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid locomotive. It's the Great Northern S2. This is a 484 locomotive. This is a vestibule style cab, and we will see what you get in the box next. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the JLWII2000 channel and leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future train videos. All right, so sometimes you'll get the plastic to protect the box. Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid, this newer white design, we've talked about that before. Sleeve comes off, and you have the locomotive showing right here. There's a little trap door, I call it, on the side. Once you pull the locomotive out, it's a little easier to have access to this because the weight of the locomotive is holding it down. But, inside the sleeve, it's a limited warranty, one year by Broadway Limited. If you want to read about that, you can always pause and have it full HD. 28 functions packed out on this, and an operator's manual. Now, brass hybrid locomotives are mostly brass. You know, there's not really a lot of plastic going on, or but there's a few little parts and pieces that are not brass so but the value is amazing for what you get got traction tires and a tool here the sides fall down funnel for the smoke and then the clamshell just lifts up and there's the loco ready to go so we'll get a closer look at this I think we will have to improvise. Our turntable isn't very big, but we'll take a look. All right, so on this locomotive, we'll start with the front. Class lights have a nice little prism effect. Those aren't operational. You have a bell and all this on the smoke box door here, including handrails. The headlight has a white painted inside. They did that on this era of train to help intensify the light coming off of the headlight using uh, lamps. They painted the interior of the headlight uh, to help with the reflectability, if you want to call it that, of the headlight and caused it to be a little more effective viewing down the track. Coupler cut lever pilot with a regular coupler here. And you get the smoke stack and flying number boards up top. Handrails going along the side, builder's plate sand dome and boiler dome you can see further down the line pistons and side rod detail here eccentric crank i'm gonna take a reset of the view so you can see the side a little better all right here on the side you can see all along the locomotives adorned with plumbing safety pop-off valves the whistle itself we mentioned the sand and boiler dome at the firebox here with the rivet detail, trailing trucks, the side rod detail, and the wheels have all those spokes on those, which is pretty neat. Give you a little close up view of all the side rod detail there. Center cranks almost just a left two thirds of your screen there. 2586 on the road number. Talk about vestibule. Uh, and I will show you what that means as well. There's just this connection. It's kind of pressured up against the uh, cab of the locomotive to the tender for easy crew access. There's no, you know, jumping across or worrying about a tread plate. There's that vestibule there. Here's another angle. Look at the vestibule as you turn. You can see there it's pressed up against the cab. I pull away a little bit, but it has a, a connection um, with just the drawbar but there are uh, little points you can see these areas here which are helping to brace that vestibule up against the cab. Great Northern on the side of the tender with water hatches, other hatches up top and you got a rear coupler as well. From this side you can see the handrail running across the front of the smoke box including all that other detail on the smoke box. You can see the coupler cup Coupler cut lever a little better, another builder's plate, you see Great Northern abbreviated on the side there of the dome. And 
much more detail along the walkway. We're back to the firebox and the plumbing back there, cab figure. And Great Northern again on the side of our Here's tender. a rear view of the tender. You can see the handrails and deck ladder access, the whole nine, even the gallon capacity written below the rear tender light on this brass hybrid locomotive. All right, Broadway Limited locomotives can start one way or the other. There's two different ways to do it. You just move the locomotive or extended startup, which is F9. We'll do F9. Here you go. So that is startup sequence, and you see a little bit of smoke coming out there. Let's go ahead and go through some sounds real quick. F1, bell. F2 is whistle. Now if you have a subwoofer or you just have good speakers, you'll be able to hear that the Paragon three and four subwoofers picking up on these sounds and supplementing them with bass. It's a subwoofer with a wireless connection. Three is a coupler slack, which happens when you move the locomotive. Is uh, fairly dimly lit, I think, to recreate just how weak the bulbs were, you know, in the, this era of steam. But uh, four is air pump, five is blow down when stopped, six is water fill. Seven, uh, smoke on and off. Eight's volume. F10 is the coal auger. So there's just so many functions. Uh, Passenger announcements, freight announcements. We'll do freight on this one, um, just so you can hear that. Permission to depart. Be advised, switches on the north end might be against you, so go out looking out for switches. So, just a lot of sounds there um, that you can uh, we had a signal in, uh, access. All right, we're going to move this at one speed step so you can see slow speed control. We'll turn on our Accu track so we can see what this registers at at one speed step. So I had to get that adjusted a little bit. Didn't realize the sensor was in the way. So a little quick out the gate at 5.2 miles per hour. Um, however, you can adjust that with CVs. I think you know the having a slow start or a, a smooth start is a little more important than slow, super slow speeds. But people wanting to do switching and stuff may want to adjust their CVs. So looks like almost six miles an hour on step one out of the box from programming. Also get to see the puffing smoke. This is synchronized to chuff 
four times per revolution I've been counting and it looks good in my opinion it's accurate for the uh, chest per revolution all right we're gonna zero this out and start moving jumping between seven and eight sometimes reaching even nine any of those pull tests ranges you know you're looking at 105 cars in HO scale of regular freight and whatever Broadway Limited does with their engineering it's kind of beyond me because they are so far ahead of the game in pull tests and pulling power uh, they've got that lit so it's really good pulling power you'll be able to pull prototypical length consist no problem I'm gonna weigh this thing now so I've teared out the scale so one pound 10.2 ounces and one other thing you may have caught is the locomotive didn't actually stop operating for a few seconds after it was removed from the track the reason that is is it's got a built-in capacitor to last a few seconds to get through dirty track and stuff and Broadway Limited offers a separately purchased capacitor that you can buy I think it's called a go pack so that you can put those in your other locomotives from Paragon 3 and some of the other uh, locomotives you have to check the details on that on their website which I'll include in the description but you know over a pound and 10 ounces you're gonna see that with a brass hybrid but also they've got the traction to pull the heavy stuff like we showed in the pull test so now I'll give you my final thoughts on this locomotive I think it's a great detail and great uh, really value for a brass hybrid locomotive you know the MSRP which is going to be listed in the specs part of this video there's always discounts available at brick and re brick and mortar hobby shops and online retailers of your choosing and and that brings the price down and to be honest Broadway Limited's pricing is so nice that <clears throat> their brass hybrids are now in line MSRP with some competitors plastic models that haven't been updated in years so I believe it's a good value especially for people that like brass but they like functioning brass it's an art piece but it's also functioning where a lot of the brass market can sometimes not work so well so overall great value functions great I love the subwoofer it's my favorite thing which is uh, called rolling thunder they're standard and all Broadway Limited's locomotives now you just need the subwoofer and receiver and you can even hook up your own subwoofer if you just want the receiver so you can chase those down um, online kind of second hand or in some hobby shops may still have those but I think they're great and they may you know uh, you can find those if you try hard enough so it's great puffing smoke synchronized to the right amount of rotations per chuff you know just a finely executed locomotive in my opinion thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time right here in the channel i'll leave you with a run by